guys welcome back to my channel um if you are new to the channel i am yondela mlonzi welcome on Kele Kele. please do subscribe to the returning subscribers and viewers welcome back thank you so much for tuning in again um and please do continue engaging on the comment section like and share we're almost on 1k subscribers so please guys let's push let's push to that um 1k so this um video is a follow-up on the becoming a tv lecturer video so a few questions that are uh, um, people asked and i just want to address those questions quickly it's going to be a short video okay so the first one is um the difference between the advanced diploma in TVET teaching and a PGCE, which is a postgraduate certificate in education. So with both of them, you must have an undergraduate qualification, which is a diploma or a degree to enroll for them, right? Now, a PGCE, in my experience, it prepared me for school, which is um, grade 10 to 12. So because I did a PGCE specializing in FET, which is further education and training, and that was grade 10 to 12. But with that, I could lecture at a TVET college, right? An advanced diploma in TVET teaching prepares you to teach, to become a college lecturer. It prepares you for the vocational programs. It, it exposes you to policies and the curriculum of a TVET college while the PGCE exposes you to the school curriculum. I was exposed to CAPS, right? At the Tibet colleges, we don't, we're, not, we're not working on CAPS. So um, in simple terms, that is the picture, right? So when it comes to the teaching practical, I also got a question around that. When you are doing both programs, you will have to um, go for a teaching practical. It's compulsory because you are being trained to become a teacher, right? We are all educators. So with the advanced diploma in TVET teaching, you must go to a TVET college. With the PGCE, depending on which PGCE you are doing, you will go to a school. As far as I know, with the PGCE, you are required to go and do your practicals at a school as opposed to a TVET college, right? So. Um, the practical usually takes up to eight weeks, so it will depend from institution to institution as to what their structure looks like. I went for seven weeks in total. It was two weeks observation and it was five weeks um, actively teaching, right? Um, so that is basically what I've done. I th it's similar to the advanced diploma in teaching. The student teacher that I had, he was first, he first observed and then he assisted us with invigilation and all the other duties that he will then be exposed to or um, be doing when he becomes a TVET lecturer. So now when you go for your practicals, please be proactive assist help i'm not saying they must abuse must allow people to abuse you because some people can take advantage of you not abuse but take advantage of you so be you know wary of that however you know if you're given an opportunity to learn be eager to learn be willing to learn and um just go with the flow right if you're given a a, a, a lesson to teach go for it because that also helps you and improves your confidence in teaching and classroom management and so on because that's the main aim for the teaching practical um and then uh, someone asked me about the salary so now when with becoming a tv college lecturer they only need you to have a professional teaching qualification which is it's either a b ed or it's a, a, an advanced diploma in TV teaching or a PGCE. That's all they need, similar to schools. And TVETs are under government, so they work on the government salary scales. If you have an honors, you have a master's, you have a PhD, well, that is good for you. You may send a better chance for employment. However, it will not impact your salary. The salary levels for lecturers all teachers stop at RAQV14 for post level one. That is teaching, a teacher, or a lecturer. 
the N at, at, at RQ14. So when you have a PGCE or a BA or an advanced diploma in TV teaching, you are an RQV14, which is basically the most paid. Then you get the RQV13 and 12. They are referred to as general teachers and they tend to be paid less than those that have RQV14. And so those are people that may not have a professional teaching qualification. Some people um, get jobs while they're busy studying and they may not complete their studies. So until you complete your studies, then you'll become an RQV14. What I mean by studies is by completing your professional teaching qualification, right? So the salary, like I said, it is government scales. So I felt that it is a decent salary when you're starting off because I mean, with other professions, you'd start off with the internships with 3,500, 5,000, 8,000. With teaching, you are guaranteed a salary of more than 20,000 excluding benefits and that is obviously as we all know that teachers are one of the most underpaid people in the country um but i mean if you don't have a job as yet and you would like employment or you are just tired like the student teacher that i had um that was studying an advanced diploma in tivet teaching he had an honors in business management and he was just tired of going of being um in an internship and the next internship and the next internship and just ending at most six thousand so um he thought okay he must just go and teach which will give you a decent salary um from the word go some people may get may um be paid less especially at schools even though they've got a b ed um, or a PGCE when it's an SGB post because you, they're not paid by the government. It's the budget of the school. However, with TVET colleges, even if you are appointed by a co TVET college and you are paid by the college and not by the department, the college has to comply with the salary scales of the department, meaning you'll still be paid what the people that are um, that have PESAL are getting paid and you'll still be getting the same benefits that they are getting. You can. Um, get a pension, your um, medical aid, and so on, because it forms um, the TVETs falls under um, government, right? They are public um, colleges. So, yeah, um, that's basically what you can expect. So, if you've got maybe you feel like you've got a good job and you're earning way more than that, well, maybe it's not for you. But if you uh, you feel that you need more money and i won't advise anyone to go in there for money because it has to be that you know within you that there's an educator you want to educate as well as wanting obviously a stepping stone because there's nothing wrong with starting off with teaching and climbing up from there so just ensure that you are open-minded and you go there with a positive mindset with making a change making a difference with um, and not just merely money because you just want to put food on the table. Otherwise, you are going to be the most miserable, awful lecturer and you will not deliver. And that will be an, at an expense of a student or of a learner. And you do not want that. So you need to go and work for your money. Do what you need to do and ensure you deliver for what you're getting paid for. So um, that's basically it. That's basically what I wanted to 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 the few questions that I wanted to address on the video. Um, other than that, I don't think there were any other questions regarding that. Please, guys, do your research. The advanced diploma in TV teaching is offered now um, in a lot of, of institutions. I saw UJ, NMU, CBUT, Studio. I think TUT as well. So just do your research, find out where it's offered, where you can study and what you can afford. And yeah, um, that's basically it. Um, just read more about it. And there are a lot of programs um, offered at TVET colleges all around the country. So, but each TVET college may offer different programs. So you must just check on the DHET website, which programs are available, available and um, in which programs you would align your qualifications 
with and then yeah and your institution as well will guide you as to what your teaching methods will be based on your majors in your final year of your diploma or of your degree so yeah that's basically it guys i hope this has answered um all your que all the questions that i um i have received and yeah just you know do more research about it read up contact the institutions so that you can get more clarity and all the best to all of you that are going into the sector it is fulfilling it is um, a lot of work but it will be worth it at the end we're not just doing it for us but we're doing it for those that come after us right we want to transfer the knowledge that we have and educate them so all the best to all those that have already started studying the people that started studying um already after the video i uploaded all the best guys all the best it is i enjoyed lecturing i loved it it had it had its challenges but why am i speaking in past tense i love it there are challenges but we can get through them see you guys on my next video